Hello, third grade. How are you? I'm fine. Today, we're going to talk about unit number four. Four. <laughs> we're going to talk about unit number four. Unit number four is sports. Do you know what is sports or what sports are? Mm, sports son los deportes. And today, we're going to start talking about sports. What sports do you like? Or what's your favorite sport? My favorite sport is sleeping. Nah, no, mentira, eso no es un deporte. <laughs> My favorite sport is hiking. In this unit, we're going to see some sports and we're going to see likes and dislikes. Likes, me gusta, and dislikes, no me gusta. ¿Ya? Cuando yo quiero decir que me gusta, voy a decir I like. Y cuando quiero decir que no me gusta, voy a decir I don't like. Eso es lo que vamos a ver en esta unidad, unit number four, sports. Now, let's see the vocabulary of unit number four, sports. The first thing we're going to know We're going to know the contents of the unit. Third grade, unit four, sports. What are we going to see in this unit? For example, we're going to learn vocabulary about sports and activities. Vocabulary about sports and activities. We're also going to see likes and dislikes. Likes and dislikes. And finally, in the part two, we're going to talk about my favorite sport, your favorite sport. Vocabulary. For example, we have basketball. Listen and repeat. Basketball. Basketball. We also have tennis. 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 We also have cycling. 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 We also have rollerblading. 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 Skiing. 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 Okay, so goofy. We have swimming. 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 Here we have gymnastics, gymnastics, gymnastics. Football, football, football. Soccer, soccer, soccer. Now, we're going to check our grammar. The grammar son las oraciones. And the grammar is expressing preferences. Nosotros vamos a expresar cosas que nos gustan, que no nos gustan, que amamos y que odiamos. So, todo esto in English. Like. ¿Se acuerdan de like? Por ejemplo, en Facebook. Tengo muchos likes. Okay. Like significa me gusta. Si yo quiero hacer una oración de que algo a mí me gusta, I like. For example, I like dogs. I like hiking. I like hiking. Si yo quiero decir que a otra persona le gusta, por ejemplo, que a mi mamá le gusta eh, el fútbol, por ejemplo, yo digo she likes She likes soccer. She likes. Y tengo que colocar aquí una S. Yo aquí tengo que colocarle una S a este verbo cuando hablo de él o de ella. Él puede ser mi papá, mi hermano, eh, el abuelito que vive en la esquina, etc. Un he. Y she es ella. Mi mamá, mi hermana, mi abuelita, la señora que vive en la esquina. Etcétera. Cuando yo hablo de otras personas, de una persona que no soy yo, 
voy a decir he or she likes. Así es. Don't like. Que no me gusta. ¿Ya? Para decir que algo no me gusta, a mí, yo digo, I don't like. Es como yo no gusto de tal cosa. ¿Ya? No gusto de esto. No. ¿Ya? I don't like. Por ejemplo, I don't like guatitas a la jardinera. Pregúntele a la mamá qué son las guatitas a la jardinera. I don't like guatitas a la jardinera. She doesn't like beans. A ella no le gustan los brotos. She doesn't like beans. A mí me encantan. I love beans, pero she doesn't like beans. Love. Love. Love es cuando yo amo algo. ¿Ya? Por ejemplo, I love pizza. I love pizza. I love hiking. And cuando yo hablo de otra persona, digo loves. He loves. He loves pizza. He loves hot dogs. She loves. She loves running. A ella le encanta correr, por ejemplo. ¿Ya? Y para decir que algo no me gusta profundamente, yo digo hate. I hate it. ¿Ya? I hate it. Por ejemplo, si algo no me gusta, por ejemplo, en mi caso, no me gusta correr, lo odio correr. Odio correr. Entonces yo digo, I hate running. I hate running. Más encima todo me deja la I hate running. Pero si a algo a él o a ella no le gusta, yo digo, she hates running. She hates running. Ya, hacer oraciones lo vamos a aprender en el próximo video. Ahora solamente necesito que ustedes entiendan los significados de I like, I don't like, I love, o I hate. Ok. Now I'm going to give you the instructions for your homework number 8. Instrucciones para tarea número 8. We're going to continue sharing our screen there. In here we have the pages, páginas 52, 53, and 54. Okay? You are going to complete pages 52, 53, and 54 of the student's book. They say, look and answer. What are the children doing? Yeah? What is your favorite sport and why? Favorite, favorito, favorite sport, why? Listen and sing. So you have to answer the questions and then you're going to listen and sing. La, la, la. Then on page 54, you have it here, it says, uh, listen, read and role play. Listen, read and role play. Escuchar, leer y actuar. La idea de esto es que ustedes vayan copiando la entonación de los diálogos que aparecen acá en el libro. ¿ya? A veces, al principio, parece como que uno estuviera exagerando. Pero después a uno se le pega un poco esa entonación que es muy importante. ¿ya? Exercise number two. Dice, listen and write the name. Ustedes van a ir escuchando pistas. Por ejemplo, a esta persona le gusta tal cosa. A esta persona no le gusta tal cosa. ¿Ya? Entonces, eh, van a ir escuchando eso y van a tener, le van a colocar, aquí dice, listen and write the name, pero colóquenle el número, porque el diálogo va a tener un número y ese número lo colocan en la persona que corresponde. ¿Ya? Ok. Ahora vamos al activity book. Now, in the activity book. In the activity book, you have to do pages 28 and 29. 28 y 29, ¿ok? In page 28, says, complete the crossword. You have to complete the crossword with the name of the sport. ¿Ya? Cuando dice across, es porque es así. Across. Y cuando dice down, es porque es así. So, 
across, down, across, down. ¿Ya? Porque le va a pasar que van a encontrar un número 4 y va a tener un número 4 across y va a tener un número 4 down. ¿Ya? In exercise number 2, read, complete and match. You have to read and complete with one sport. Read and complete. Read, leer y complete, completar with one sport. Después de que usted read and complete, you have to match with the correct picture. Match, match, match and match. Okay? Those are the instructions for the job number eight. Esas son las instrucciones para el trabajo number eight. If you finished watching this video, si terminaste de ver este video, thank you very much. Thank you for paying attention. And uh, I will leave the listening exercises at the end of the video. Al final del video, los listening exercises. See you. Goodbye. Students book, page 52, track 30. Listen and sing. Sports are great. Sports are great. Sports are fun. Lots of sports for everyone. Sports are great. Students book, page 54, track 31. Listen, read and role play. Do you like photos, Olga? Yes, I do. Is this your family? Yes. Look at my mum. She likes gymnastics. Oh, yes. But your dad doesn't like skiing. No. He can't ski. Look, my sister likes rollerblading. Here's your granddad. He likes tennis. And this is my granny. She doesn't like football. No, she isn't happy. Poor granny. Students book, page 54, track 32. Listen and write the name. One. Who's this? He likes football. He likes tennis. He doesn't like rollerblading. Two. Who's this? She doesn't like football. 
She likes tennis, and she likes rollerblading. Three. Who's this? She likes football. She likes tennis. She doesn't like rollerblading. Four. Who's this? He likes football. He doesn't like tennis, and he doesn't like rollerblading.